so long, how is it now that you're 10, 10 games at home, being able to get back into uh, Feels good. Felt good, even though we got in the bed last night about 3 a.m. Uh, sure beats the alternative. Felt like we were on the road quite a bit. And uh, looking forward to seeing the guys play here. You, you happy for the quick turnaround? I mean, they do it every year for Easter Sunday, but uh, given some of the struggles on the road, you just want to get back out there and get some um, games in? You know, I don't, I don't look at it as such a quick turnaround. I mean, it's really no different driving. What we did is no different driving to Abilene to play and playing late and getting back late. You know, say you'd played at 7.30 in Abilene, we'd, same deal. Um, I mean, really can't ask for much more. I mean, we had a great post-game meal last night, probably the best I've ever had, pizza. And, uh, you know, and then jumped on a plane and got home and everybody should have been in bed by three o'clock, so. Um, you know, it, if if this is rough on us, I mean, we we got some guys that are in trouble when they go to minor league baseball for sure. What did you see from Caleb in that last game? Obviously, he was uh, <clears throat> feeling it on, on Sunday for you. Yeah, Caleb was outstanding under the circumstances. He was a definition of a of an ace um, guy that you know can walk out there after you've lost a game or two and. Pretty much uh, slammed the door on you know, on the other team's offense, a team that was swinging the bat really good and um, had a lot of momentum in that series. And you know, over the last couple of weeks, have played good and uh, he was outstanding. It's fun to watch. Is that really what you want with him being on Sunday? Is that really why he's in that position to make sure the weekends finish out strong? Um, it puts you in a position definitely to finish strong. We just felt like that's the best thing going into last weekend and. Um, it'll have to be that way this weekend with the short turnaround. After kind of reshuffling the pitching staff, moving, uh, landing back to Friday, and everyone bumping back, do you like where those guys are in those spots? Uh, you asked me that after the weekend. I mean, we, we liked the way they all threw the ball. Everybody competed. You know, it's probably the first time Micah Dallas has been hit, you know, a little bit more than he's used to getting hit. And, Really liked the way he responded to that and the way he handled it. And uh, his mound presence is off the charts and stayed in there and competed. And uh, Erickson did the same. Uh, and then John came in, threw the ball off a well, and everybody knows what Caleb did. And, uh, and last night, I would say, minus a uh, few wild pitches and some balls go to the backstop, I thought Bonham was really good. Um, and, Really, you know, the line was, other than the earned runs, I mean, it, the walks were, I mean, he threw the ball over the plate, did a good job of doing that. So, so are you pretty much keeping the rotation the same this weekend? We're going to leave it the same. I mean, really, with the quick turnaround, that's the one thing it kind of makes you do. You either got to plug somebody in that's different or, or leave it the same. And it's asking a lot of all these guys to turn around and pitch a day earlier at this time of the year. You could make a pretty good argument that, you know, if, I mean, really it's if two coaches don't agree, you're supposed to play at the normal time. It just seems like over the last few years, you can say, hey, we don't want to play on Sunday and you're playing a day earlier. So how did that come about in this case? They wanted, I mean, it's just what I just said. They wanted to play early. So it seems like, uh, you know, it's easy to say, hey, our school doesn't want us to play on Sunday. And, I was talking to Maisie about it last weekend. Last year, I think we played them on Easter weekend, and they said they weren't allowed to play on Sunday, and then this year he was glad they were playing on Sunday. So, yeah, it's kind of, I guess it's each his own and a little gamesmanship on trying to get the series when you want it. And we've never shied away from playing when anybody, whenever anybody wants to play, but from a pitching standpoint, it's probably better. Probably better to wait a day. So when was that decided then? It's decided the summer before. Josh playing at shortstop again yesterday. Uh, how's he looked at that spot and just I guess the overall look at Yeah, the I think he's having a lot of fun. Um, you know, Parker made a really nice play yesterday. In the big inning yesterday, Parker had a play on their leadoff hitter that is it, it probably should have been a bang bang play. And the guy was safe by quite, you know, he just hesitated a little bit. And wasn't an easy play by any means. 
um, wasn't a hard play either. Um, really like, we really like the way it looks with Josh over there. I mean, um, he's made some plays that we hadn't made. And of course, you really like with him playing third too. I mean, it's a shame you can't play him at all four, I guess. So. So did anything happen with Baker, or is that just another example of your looking? No, we. No, uh, we had a play in the ninth on Saturday. It was on, yeah, it was on Saturday. One hopper to short and pretty much put the ball in his pocket. And uh, guys, I mean, it's just one of those plays. It's kind of like what we had, we've had a couple of times. And um, he brings a lot to the table. He's awful competitive, but, um, you know, that's a spot where you got a routine, the routine. And it was a routine play and um, didn't make it. And so for us to be able to, to win the way we want to win and to compete the way we want to compete and to be able to support our pitching staff, you want to give them the best defense possible. And Baker's, uh, I don't think he'd argue that Josh has played it a little bit better. And, uh, you'll see him at some point get an opportunity to play some third. So, you know, maybe there's not quite the premium over there to, you know, as far as it's short, there's just not a lot of margin for errors, everybody knows. So how did you, with the exception of uh, obviously Killian's stellar performance, how did you feel, you know, the fact that you have lost three or four since you? Yeah, I mean, don't feel great. Obviously riding on about four hours sleep, not near as good as I would if we'd have won and got eight hours, I guess. I don't know when the last time any of us got eight hours was, but, um, you know, it's uh, at the same time, um, you got to recognize what we ran into last weekend, ran into a team playing really good and don't want to take anything away from them. And then I really think, I mean, you got to tip your hat to Duke last night. They swung the bats really good. Um, and, you know, I think they were, you know, it, it was kind of set up pretty good for them. I mean, for us to roll in there and they got the lead on us. And uh, But I do like the way guys are going about their business. There's already guys wanting to hit today. There's guys that have hit. And uh, right now, they really just need to get their legs under. Talk about Baylor and what you're looking forward to this, this weekend. Baylor's uh, got a good team. They got an older team. Uh, I want to say, I heard somebody say before the year started, they return everybody in their lineup. Um, you know, they got a catcher back there, probably a future big leaguer. Uh, first rounder. Uh, their shortstops playing at a high level. Uh, Bissonette's always been a good player. And the interesting guy to me is Wenzel. I mean, he's he's been one of the better third basemen in this league since he stepped in the league. And everybody talks about their team. <clears throat> Usually, you kind of overlook him. Then you got Cunningham playing center. Really good player, fifth year senior. Um, you know, the Herring kid, I think, is an out – he's corner outfielder leading their team in hitting, I want to say. And, uh, you know, Coach Rodriguez, um, Coach Taylor do a really good job with their hitters, uh, professional approach to hitting. And uh, you can see it. I mean, they, they stay in the middle of the field. Uh, they take their walk when, you know, when it's there. Um, and their pitching staff's really – done a little bit like ours did last year when we lost Gingry. They lost Bradford at, I don't know, first or second, third weekend of the year. And uh, they've had some guys step up and throw the ball really well. So what I'm looking forward to is the competition. I mean, we're, we're looking forward to watching the guys jump out there and, and uh, tee it up.